They don't look like lottery winners. They, they, they don't look like they've been plucked from relative obscurity and dropped into this goldfish bowl of epic attention and rewards. I, I, I will probably be guilty throughout this hour of sentimentalising the situation, but as ever, you know, it's once every 55 years, I think you can be allowed, well, maybe twice, actually, depending on what happens on Sunday. Um, and the difference between the post-match interviews is fascinating as well. You, you, you're not going to get one of them pouring, for good or for ill, I'm just telling you, saying what I see, you're not going to get any of them sort of pulling each other's pants down while they're being interviewed or pouring champagne over each other's heads. Sterling and, and Kane in particular, because so much attention is focused upon them. Uh, although, once again, I think Luke Shaw probably did the most to, to, to get us over the line last night. Uh, over the 90, as opposed to the magnificent, glorious cameos by, by the likes of Grealish. But they were already thinking about the next game. I think previous generations would almost have felt that they'd already won the cup by getting to the final, but this lot are already looking over the horizon. And that is really incredible to see. It's so, if I said un-English, it just means it's so at odds with the English tradition, with the England football t team's tradition. The plucky loser, if you like. The, the you know, the, the kind of uh, 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 frustrated winners who never quite get over the line. This lot will not be happy unless they win the whole thing. There's not going to be any consolation prize for them in being the first team in 50-odd years to reach the final of a major international competition. And when I say they don't look like lottery winners, what I mean is I can see evidence of every rung of the ladder they've climbed on their hands and in their faces. You, you can see that. You know, for example, that Calvin Phillips would not have been anywhere near England if he hadn't grafted and grafted and grafted. Was it Rice who got let go by the Chelsea Academy? I mean, that is just heartbreaking for a young footballer. They, they are players who have, and, and, and Rashford talking, I know he didn't do much yesterday, but Rashford talking about having a panic attack when he was playing for the under-16s. They, they've been there. They've got the lunchbox. They've got the T-shirt. They've got the scars of struggling up the ladder you know not not obviously in a let's get all our get our violins and wax lyrical about what a tough time they've had of it but they don't look like lottery winners they look like people who've climbed a mountain rather than people who've been dropped on the top of it